So today I'm going to be using the 8 inch round plate. I just got these Distress Oxides, which are really hot right now because they're a brand new product from Tim Holtz. The Distress Oxide ink pads are perfect. Um, they have a little bit of pigment ink in them so that uh, they stay wet a little bit longer, which is great. Um, I was able to uh, do some cool techniques and I'm going to share with you. I cut up a whole bunch of tracing paper. I bought a roll of tracing paper because it was really cheap and I think it might even be cheaper than uh, deli paper, but it's great to collage with and that's why I'm using it nice and thin. Embossing mm -hmm. plates. You probably have a bunch of these that you haven't used in a long time. Well, they're great for your gel press. So get them out, start using them. So we have. So you just kind of rub the the stamp pad on your plate as shown. You know, let's get a really bright contrasting color. I'm going to take wilted violet, and I'm going to figure out which one has the raised areas that I want. And it's going to be, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to do this. And then I'm going to ink up my embossing folder. Really get it inked up so you can really see that. And then I'm going to transfer it to your plate. And I like to get the whole thing in there, so let's get the whole thing. Okay, you can also stamp off with this, um, like I did this one earlier, so I can stamp off onto it. I don't know if you can see. But I just stamped off onto another print. There's lots of ink on here still. And look at that beautiful print. Isn't that gorgeous? Just lovely. Let's do another one. We're going to have a ghost print here. There we go. There's my ghost print. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is this folder, the embossing folder that has words on it. So um, words are kind of an interesting thing to do on the gel press. You have to be a little bit conscious of which way they're going and using this embossing folder is going to be perfect because I'm using the side. When I turn it around, the writing is going backwards. You know what, let's do something really bright. We're going to do a background that's bright, and I'm going to do a little embossing folder on there. This has got some green on it, so some of that green may um, transfer. I hope it does. Okay, now I'm going to ink up my embossing folder, the raised portion. And I recommend that you tap and not rub because it may 
it may mess up your pad. I notice when I rub, a lot of these little hairs are coming off. So I'm just going to be real careful here and, and tap. And then turn it over. We're going to do this on regular paper instead of tissue paper. And I think you will really be able to see it. That is so cool. Look at that. Look at that. You've got I've got some of the green on there from before. Oh my gosh, that is so cool.